All right, everyone, welcome to the World Pokemon Federation Rock Season 11 PRs. I'm back with uh, one of my Season 10 PR co hosts. We have here uh, Deep Draco themselves. Say hello. It's good. You know, reigning, in, reigning champion, former champion with my other former champion friend. Yeah, the, uh, the former WPF Ubers champions, the minus like half of them, that are here indeed to uh, do the WPF Rock Season 11 PRs. I don't think the other former champions are in the season though, so that basically. Means that could... Wait, wait, who are the other former champions? Uh, I think Karma won one, and I don't remember who won the other. Oh, we should have got Karma on here. Probably. Friends could. But um, I don't even know if they're online. <laughs> yeah, but, I've never even heard of talking to her. I don't know if they do the season stuff or not. Um, Shout out to Karma. I yeah. love that guy. Yeah, I agree. Um, so yeah, uh, this season was a semi-restricted Ubers, so like everything, um, like uh, the Velta level and below. So we got like you know Mewtwo, Primal Kyogre, a couple of Arceuses, but not like um, Dark or Dragon or Poison or any of the stronger ones, um, and. Uh, was there anything else that stands out? Calyrex Ice? Uh, I've seen that band before. Uh, who the hell bans Calyrex Ice? The Mons Geomancy as well. Genesect walls Calyrex Ice. Genesect is one particularly good mod, to be fair. Fuck Genesect. It's Oko by Ember. I'm gonna rush around. I don't even think that's true. It's true, trust me. I've seen it happen. I think that's I, I think that's even less true. Uh, right, but yeah, let's just get, let's just get into the PRs. Yeah. All right. So, in 16th place, we have. Hodge. Oh yeah. Sorry. I'd just like to full, say it as um. Yeah. Let me see. It's a really say strong it. season. The f yeah yeah yeah. Look, see, none of these teams are unusable. It's just that. None of these teams reason, are unusable. But... We thought that Honch's team had some major issues. We thought that. Basically every other team just has increasing levels of different issues we have with them, but they're all like decent. They're all solid teams. Yeah, it's like the the, the, the thing is like some teams, none of them suck. They just it's, it's like mid teams, good teams, and broken teams. And this is a mid team. Also broken teams starts at like seventh position, you know? Um so Arceus Electric, very solid. Um, generally, I think considered solid. What first. is happening? Where is happening? Is yes, you're gonna arrest me? What was it? The police are outside. That's. A, do you not know the the difference between the police siren and a fire siren? Well, in Australia, we have fire sirens. I don't know. It's the same here. No, nah, they um, it gets faster depending on whether it's fire, police, or um. So the ambulance is wee -oo, wee -oo, wee, -oo, and then the police is wee -oo, wee. -oo. And then the fire is Oh, thank you, thank you. I really yeah. needed that. You did need. You, apparently, you did need it. All right. Anyways, Haunt, your team's here because your speed tiers are terrible. It goes Arceus Electric at 120, and then Mega Kangaskhan and Latias at 110, and then everything else is 95 or below. Which should, you know, it's okay. Like this one is uh, clearly designed to be pretty long-term focused. I know. My, my only takeaway with this team is Arceus Electric is good, Ferrothorn's good, Landorus is good, Ditto is unhealthy, and Elias is good, and most of these other ones are pretty mid. Like, I think Apologies is bad. Why do you have Hariyama on your team? I mean, <laughs> Hariyama's a late pick, at least. The, 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 round 5 floor just. <laughs> I, don't, I don't fully understand that, but you know what? Maybe, maybe you'll uh, show us value. Mega Kang is gone, I don't think he's very good. There's just too many mons with massive HP pools that like sometimes it doesn't even three at Kira mons with um seismic toss and it's generally taking two rounds of helmet with every single move it goes for except for earthquake so it's just like kind of mid um, every week you're gonna run scarf ladias and scarf darm every week hmm. if you want to win. anyways i'm not talking about you haunch oh yeah also there's yeah. um no, no ground of poison as well. It's oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Arceus Electric hates toxic spikes. So you want some way to mitigate toxic spikes and not even having a ground of poison to mitigate toxic spikes is a big concern. I don't know if the Rakuten's webs are really significant enough for me as got Arceus Electric. But yeah. Arceus Electric's really solid. It's a 
most mobs though, so it can probably do stuff still. Um, the team can still win games, it just loses games easier than other teams, I think is the main concern that we have. Yeah. Moving on. Yeah, 15th. We have yeah. Nets team. Xerxes, uh, Fresh Ram, Ash Grenz, Dawnlings, Cell Stealer, Mega Venusaur, Crocodile, Regular Heat, Liquid Heat, and Seedra. You would think a team from CERN and Reshiram would be higher, but you know, that attests to how Excelsior, but that attests to how broken everything else is. There's just, yeah, a lot of these other teams are very broken. This team kind of struggles because it goes Reggie Lucky at 200, then an Ashram at 122, 132 if it's an Ashram form, and then base 99 Xerneas, which is. Yeah, if you, uh, it, if you thought team, the last speed tiers were shitty. Yeah. Ones, uh, this team shit. certainly has the worst speed. It's mostly what speed does mean is that this team is going to struggle to prevent a lot of mods, but also it's going to like it, it's just going to lose to other teams quicker than a lot of other teams are going to lose to it. Is the main concern that I have for this team. Yeah, and you also drafted Dawn Wings. That mod is so shit. It's a catfish Pokemon. You would think it would be better than it actually is. It doesn't do anything. I don't think you know what catfishing is. It, you, it, it tricked me. I drafted that one thing. It was do a hell of a lot for me. It didn't do shit. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it, it just seems like a special breakup, which you do already have Zonius and Reshiram. This seems very specially oriented. Um, obviously, you can run physical Zonius, but player off is not only less strong, but also less accurate hey, than hey. those moveballs. Physical Dragon Dance Reshiram is a thing. It's a win comp. It is a win comp. That was something I was looking at with um, Reshiram, was like the physical defense set can win games, which is solid. Um, but like, then you can run, like you can run physical Dawn Wings with D Dance if you want as well, but it only has, I think, Shadow Claw has physical stab, and then still Photon Geyser, which is good. Uh, then it's like Cell Stealer can be physical, Mega Venusaur can be physical, but doesn't have a poison move, and then Crook is a physical one. It's just like mons that excel in special attacking, and then the only real mon that excels, excels in attacking physically is Crook on this team. And Seedra, which is broken. But everything else is the yeah, more yeah. questionable thing. Moving on. Moving on. We have Red and yes. the real first impressions. Sick logo, by the way. I love it. I love it. Can't get enough of it, anyways. Um, Calyrex, Ice, Palkia, Urshifu, Sango, Tornadus, T, Jirachi, Polygon, T, Mihilego, Top Blue, Camera, Mega, and Pupu Goku. Um, this team has an Uber that is hard wall by Genesect. Defensive Genesect, fuck your team over. Fuck your shitty Calyrex, Ice, and fuck Palkia too, because it looks like a penis. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, that, that is what I think of when I think of fucking okay, penises are generally high on the list of things involved. Um, the other thing is that this team is super congested in speed between like 103 and 100, uh, sorry, 99, where it's got Palkia, Nihiligo, Ashifu Single, and Jirachi, all of them have very small speeds here. And then it's a big drop down to Bulu, and it's a big jump up to Taunty. And it, it's like. But the opponents uh, generally know what kind of stuff is coming most games because Pukumuku is not very good. Um, well, Pukumuku is very good at what it does, and what it does is Baton Boss and occasionally Toxic Amon. Um, the is pretty decent on this team, Taunty is pretty I decent on this team, so. but it's just like pivots into breakers, and that's really the entire team. The it's only ones like... that are really have other sets are like Jirachi, Taunty. Maybe Kali Ice like is have... interesting. We have five Pokemon that are the exact same speed, or like one speed difference. Yeah. That like, it's four, but yeah. Is it five? Uh, why don't you? Yeah, no, no, I exaggerated. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's like three. It's, four, it's four. It's, it's, it's Palkia, um, Ashifu Single, Jirachi, and the Hiligo are all within five speed of one another. Yeah, and also, where's your Trick Room on? Jirachi and Porygon 2 both set Trick Room. Palkia oh. and Calyrex Ice also set Trick Room. Oh, 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 I see. I don't really use shitty Calyrex Ice, so I wouldn't know if you got Trick Room or not. I think Palkia gets Trick Room, it's pretty It's not an oh, uncommon yeah. move on it in VGC. This team's broken as main camera. Yeah, main camera like just a little. Main camera definitely bootleg. seems really cheap for six. This is a bootleg Trick Room team because, like, half your fucking mobs are based on 100 speed. <laughs> You can run room service. 
fucking Earth Shifu single and Trevor and win every game. Yeah, it, it's an option. Um, yeah, so the, the, the thought is just that if this team is on the back foot, it really struggles to get back into yeah, an advantage but, position because it's all based around I, keeping out momentum, uh, sorry, offensive momentum pressure. I think really only Cali Ice is a mon that is um, taking a hit and then dealing damage back into opposing Ubers particularly well. Dante's definitely not a bad mon by any means, but I don't know that I'd love it. Uh, and yeah, the rest of the stuff is, is just kind of mid. Um, also, priority is pretty spooky for this team. Um, it was my other thought on it. You don't love a team that gets like mock punched to death. We got the bacon yeah. and eggs. Take it away, Electric. Ah, uh, so um, I dropped an Arceus fighting, and then so all of the mods I wanted in round one went, so I picked up an Arceus. And then all the mods I wanted in round two went, so I picked up a Genesect. Um, yeah. But then you uh, got Feeny Heatran. Now I don't lose to opposing teams. That, that was the idea. Feeny and Heatran just mean that, like, I it's very difficult for opposing viewers to try and roll over me, hopefully, ideally, Gropium. Um, I'll trace Glass there, because there are no viable Dark types. So hopefully that one's good. I don't know, I have Moltres, Galar, and Serena, both of which are Pokemon I hate. <laughs> but hopefully they're good. I haven't used Moltres, Galar before, I don't think, and I haven't used Serena in, in ages, so hopefully it's good now, and I, and I don't hate it. Um, Thunty is my, like, only Scarfmon that's there, which is not amazing. Um, but I have Digger Speed to give me a decent priority on top of the previously existing Genesect. Um, so hopefully revenge stuff, and then I got Mega Zam, uh, base 150 speed, and hopefully it will win games because otherwise my only win can't sort of on is Arceus, which is good, but it's mostly going to be like punish profile. It's a damn good win, Colin. You know, Arceus will win most of the games for you, honestly. And Mega Zam and Kolava. Kolava, I feel like they won a bunch of games. Kolava has our option. That's all it needs. I just run specs, and then if they have a mod that's sub 80 speed, they're taking like 60% on a mod. Yeah, that's a resist in exchange for a pull off. So, you know, I'm probably getting the best end out of that tree. I think I checked it and it does like, um, it does like half to Rayquaza, which I thought was funny. That's perfect. But yeah, um, that, that's, that's, that's my team. It's not very, I don't love it, but hopefully it can win games. Um, Next, we got Gradual in the Sunset Soul Rocks. So this is a fairly defensive sort of team, um, pure white, uh, very specially defensive mob that it also has very high offensive output with like a ice beam Draco fusion flare. Lugia, very solid wing condition sort of mob. Mega Deontzi gives them a lot of um, bouncing and a lot of breaking power beside that to like uh, go in synergy with the Cure Moy. Deontzi and Inferno are both very good like special, sorry mixed breakers because they can break um, with high base power moves on both sides. Uh, Queen. Broken Mom, Sizzle, Broken Mom, Blastoise, Broken Mom, Miltank, Skull Rocks. Okay, Blastoise isn't broken, but it's okay. Uh, Miltank has rocks. Alolan Persian is a speed tier on this team. Shaman can generally take a hit from a lot of Ubers just because of its uh, high defenses and uh, Leech Seed supports. Not terrible into this team by any means. I run him for Pivot. Team's pretty alright. Difficult to see, like, um, easy ends. A lot of opposing teams into this mob just because T Late's pretty good. That's kind of my thing. Yeah. I feel like this team, you can spam Thunder Wave with like Mill Tank and then you'll win a bunch of games. Yeah. You definitely can just like get good speed control out on this team and then it's got a lot of breakers as well as a good bit of backbone where you can keep speed control up because you have Sizzle, you can keep speed control up because Nape's got Scarf up because. Um, Etc. Stuff like that, um, and then you can just kind of like uh, win with um, Lugia or Cure White in most games. And it's really solid. I, I just like, I just love Lugia. It's like a such a good defensive anchor for a team. Oh, for sure. This team really threatens a lot of the mods that can beat Lugia, which I like. Yeah, and I want to reiterate: none of these teams that are ranked low are bad. It's yeah. just all the drafts are good. I would say that once we hit 12, we're hitting the teams that are like like 16 to 13 is like the solid teams. 12 up is the like good to like really good teams. And then eventually we get to the point where all the teams are just broken. And it was kind of like, well, this team is mildly more broken than this other team. <laughs> it's like, you know, you're really splitting hairs at that point. Um, 
the Gradual's team, I think, really uh, is where you start having teams that are just good. Um, exactly. Yeah, so right. number 11. I got Ollie. Yeah, Ollie Boy. Um, Beveltar, Giratina, Samus C, Mega Gardevoir, Gliscor, Victorion, Rotom Cut, Weezing, Dimanitan, Hammerbomb, and Crustle. Um, maybe part of the concern I had for this team was that it has a lot of it has a lot of mons that can come to games, but then you kind of like you really kind of have like six mon um, syndrome sort of thing, where you kind of want to bring seven or eight of these mons to most games, and it can be a bit annoying to try and pick which ones that you want to bring you are not bring to a game. But it also I mean, just wins so much by itself because you know, I'm gonna be broken. When are you ever bring Crustle or Ampom to a game? Crustle and Ampom were not. When I said eight mons. You, you, reckon, you recognize that there are 10, 11 of Amberpom and Crossel, and Amberpom might want to come just for speed control. Um, but there are 10 months, sorry, 9 months above Amberpom. <laughs> I said 7 or 8 months to a game. You have your built all. Yeah, built is broken. Um, the ice matchup is a bit weird because their ice resist, uh, like Dom, Vap, and Zamasi. Zamasi is a good ice resist. I think Vap's a good ice resist. I think Zamasi is a fine ice resist. It depends whether the ice mon gets access to ground moves or fighting moves, which a lot of them do. Wait, what type is Zamasi? It's steel fighting. Oh, it's just bad Cabalion. Ah. I would suggest it's good Cabalion, but bad Lucario. No rocks. Oh, There's yeah. like no rocks on this team. It's just Gliscor, Crustle. Gliscor, Crustle. I mean, Gliscor's a decent rock. I yeah, but Glasgow's always kind of stuck for moves, especially in Ubers, because like um, yeah, often, both like, are used. Both like are if you're used. running into like the Giratina um, altered team, and your Glasgow's like EQ facade rocks roost. I mean, you, you you need to pack like what Ice Fang. Ice Fang's not gonna break itself and stuff like that. That's kind of like I think the issue that this team kind of has, where Glasgow there's a mon that often needs two or three attacks to not lose to opposing Ubers but also really wants to pack rocks on this team. That, that's the concern that I had that put this team where it is. But it's still a very solid team. Exactly. Moving on. Yep. Tempo, we're going to sell the orange. Oh, yeah. This team orange. is in, um, what's it called? Hypersol? Yeast. Yeah, um, Deoxys Attack, Greninja, uh, Paul, Corviknight, Lele, Darfan, Ordino, Gelio, Mugus, Fente, Mega Main. Uh, also, there's two points that they can pick up a 12th one with. They haven't done that yet, but I pinged them just to let them know that they can. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I feel like this team will be like a nightmare to switch into. Yeah. But at the same time, this team will have nightmares switching into other teams. Well, I, I don't agree, right? Because it's got Korf, it's got Amoongus, um, and like but Bolt no, itself, which is like, fucking I'm everything. Not, in, in my opinion, I'm not like, like, that high of Korf and yeah. Ubers, because I feel like Korf does not switch into Uber as well. I don't know, like, I've definitely seen it switch to Ubers well enough. But then, like, what, are you gonna throw out, like, a, a, a flamethrower predicting Korf in front of, like, Dragapult? No, no, I feel like, like, a, a Uber with, like, a good, This team's like, speed and tiers are just too good, right? Often it doesn't even have to switch out. Yeah, yeah, I feel like, yeah, that's why I said, like, the offensive pressure this team holds, like, you don't really have to switch out. Yeah. Not a lot of the time, but, like, the times you do it's have to switch out. It's a team that's got like, some decent options for switch-ins. Um, Amoogus, I think, is especially coming to mind in terms of, like, it's going to take a lot of neutral hits pretty well with, a, like, an Assault Vest on it. And because every yeah. Uber has a good attack stat, Foul Play just kind of screws them over. Um, I think they're concerned... No, that was a different team. Right, that was Neff's team that had, like, its rockers, but, like... Does this team have a rocker? Yeah, Donphans. Deoxys. Deoxys and Donphan. I think both of them can run rocks. Deoxys threatens enough out that you can generally run like rocks or spikes on it and, and you can get them up. Mm, I, know, I, know. I think the two point like should probably be a rocker though. Yeah, it's a really solid team. Really spooky. Scary, scary. Um, so, in ninth we have uh, Charizard and the Los Angeles Luted Colors. Sample decks. Um, Holo, Mega Lucario, Garchomp, Toxpex, Serora, H Slash, Confei, Skyman, Mepod, Paneco. Um, so obviously Paneco sweeps every team. Don't you think? You have half a regenerator core. Half a regenerator core. <laughs> a third of it at least. They have two regen mons. How many regen mons do they need? Right. If it has a third of a regen core, you say they need six regen mons? You're supposed to have like slow no, king no, and no. slow bro? 
No, no, me. I mean two thirds. Okay. I think I should have popped on my tangle, eh? I think no, Skyman's no. probably better my than tangle. My reason for it when I the first season of you was at first I had Ho -O Tang Tangro. I had Ho -O Tangro Slowbro talk. And then I dropped Ho -O for Lugia, and that just turned into stall. Yeah. Uh, look, Ho -O is really strong. Um, it's much better than when you had it because it's got boots now. Uh, Mega Lucario yeah. breaks everything. Back in, back in my day, boots wasn't a thing. Scale shot, thing about that. Like Lucario and Garchomp are just such good offensive synergy into each other. Um, and they can both win. Age Flash is alright, as had to have a steel that actually resists moves. Um, Zero Aura is really decent as like a revenger for a lot of opposing mons. Like, just so much of the opposing teams aren't going to be able to deal with like uh, Zero Aura, Skymin, Megaluk offensive um, onslaught and ho has got a really interesting set of resistances for this team and this team isn't like it has one of the rock weakness which it's skyman which to be fair both of those are pretty reasonable rock weaknesses but okay Garchomp got each slash gonna take them pretty well i feel like i'm obligated to tell this anytime i see skyman if your skyman gets frozen it turns back into regular shaman and... I don't yes. know if you knew that, but... but that happened that to me happened. in a game once. I got tri attack. I know, it happened to me too. I, I was <laughs> playing a Seismitoad, and it was fucking Rindo Berry, and it lived the Seed player, and then they clicked... I, it was Ice Beam or Ice Punch, right? It like, doesn't get Ice Beam, so it would, it would have been Ice Punch. Yeah, it clicked Ice Punch, and it didn't kill me. It did like 98, and then it froze me. And I went back to normal, I'm like, what the fuck? I think my shit. Yeah, no, I was, I was against a P2, I think, and a tri attack froze me, and then I turned into Shaman. I was so confused. I was like, what? And I lost because of that, too. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a classic. Yeah. Um, so so be, be careful, Charizard. Don't go switch into try attacks. Oh, also, yeah. Confei is a bullshit mom, so it's probably broken. Facts. I'm just trying to spec Confei. You're all like, revenge there, Rayquaza. Just run Specs um, Hoa. Draining Kiss outspeeds, um, outspeeds E Speed by one priority bracket. Exactly. Hey, Moving on. Um, we have the Rugby Rage of Steels. It's pretty I was solid. very high on this team. What's sorry? I was very high on this team, but now that I'm looking yes. at it, it's, it's middle of the pack. It's, it's an interesting team. Um, Zachron, really solid. Mega Metaverse, really solid. Um, both those are pretty big ground weaknesses, so they picked up Lando Tangrowth and Crobat and Vikable. It's just been like. Is the regen call you wanted? Yeah, 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 it's also two regen ones. Like, <laughs> good. It's like, like three teams, two regen ones. Yeah, yeah, your fastest one is Crobat, and Crobat doesn't apply a lot of pressure at the moves. So like, I feel like I wouldn't be comfortable with my fastest one being Crobat. Um, sorry, Crobat's his fastest one, right? Yeah, I just said that. Sorry, yeah, my, my brain is dying, and also I think I have the music a bit too loud on my end, though I have a lower range of recording end. Uh, but yeah, I think Goon is a really interesting pivot on this team, because I actually think Parting Shot is really big when you have a lot of mons that are this, like, tanky. Like, not too many of these mons are, like, super bulky, but then a lot of the mons are tanky enough to, like, where you Parting Shot into them once, and then a mon that, even if they get the perfect predict, like, Earthquakes or Zekrom, and then the Zekrom takes 40, or the Mega Metagross takes, like, 36. I mean, that's pretty good, you know? Exactly. And Zekrom wins games. Yeah, Zekrom wins so many games. Mega Metaverse wins games. Um, Sylveon can win games. Like, they have a, a, a decent few ones that can win games, as well as they have um, a little Marowak, which is the sunniest counter. Yeah, Landorus wins games. No, it doesn't. Landorus breaks for other, for other monster wins. Oh, games. I didn't mean to say that. I mean, it breaks. Yes, yeah. I meant to say. It doesn't really win games that yeah, much. Yeah, Slow King wins. Games. All right, let's go. It's looking cat. You got a, the weakness policy um, trick room set. It's, it's, it's broken. No, that's slow bro. That's slow bro. Slow bro. No, slow king also can do that. No, no, no. Slow bro is better because it sails on his tail. Okay. Uh, in Moving seventh, on. we have a uh, ramp for one good. Um, <laughs> ramp for one good. Mam Mamo Solium Glutebit. I don't I get this joke. Team. Do you get this joke? I don't get the joke at all. They have no fortune mess. cookies on sticks next to the Mamo, which seems to be in a hut of some form. It, it, 
it's probably a really clever joke that you just don't get the reference for. This team is broken. Uh, yeah, I mean, Bray, Mega Blazekun, Gordon Mosh, Weavile, Blissey, Hippo, Latios, Togekiss, Melmetal. Mm. All of these Pokemon this are broken. Team, and then there's also a Rosalia who is decent. This team did this V tier right. Thank you. I the key is having a Mega Blaziken, which is functionally a scoffer. I mean, shit, it's speed rising on every fucking turn. Speed yeah. boost, speed boost, speed boost. The way to do a Mega Blaziken is you sit in front of a Pokemon that you KO, you KO it, and you get plus one speed. Then you protect, and you get plus two speed. Exactly. Mega Blaziken anyway. wins games. Rayquaza wins games. We've all wins games. No, Hippo wins games. Latios wins games. These, like there's so many mons that can just win games, and then the other team's mons can just be breaking for them. You run like two win conditions for... and a bunch of breakers, as well as like good um, pivots. Yeah, and you have to prep for like every mon on this team. Yeah, like even Roselia is pretty solid. Hey, you have to like keep in mind that's there. Shit, bring spice yeah. and tea spots. Not just that, but it also helps that Ray and Rotomosh and Latios are all immune to Toxic Spikes, so you don't feel pressured to bring Roselia. Oh, and Melm, obviously. So, like, that's really solid. I love this team. Yeah, it's a really solid team. Like, all right, you can... I think this this team is where we move from, like, the really good teams to the teams that are just straight up broken. Like, the flaws on this team are that, like, sometimes other teams they beat it. Maybe. Like, between Blissey and Hippo. Basically means they need to have a physical attack up with a, um, with, like, a super effective stab at the Hippo. Basically. Which is pretty solid. Or, like, Xerneas. Xerneas is pretty spooky for this team, but Xerneas is pretty spooky for most teams, so. Alright. We can move on. Yeah. We got T-Bug. Uh, yeah, we do. Yep. T-Bug. 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 Primo go. That's pretty decent. Oh, yeah. Also, it's an Elden Ring logo. I like it. Cooper. Elden Wooper. Um, it's got the like Wooper. I think it was the Wooper evolution from the the beta. Either that or just boss Wooper. I forget if Quag looked like that or Wooper just looked like that in in the uh, in the Gen two beta. <laughs> but yeah, Primal Logo, Naga, Naga Cure is a really solid core. Mega Sizzle or Mew um, pair really well. Primal Kyogre. Um, its main drawback is that it has mediocre Fizz Def. Uh, base 90, which is, I mean, obviously it doesn't sound as mediocre when you put it like that, but I mean, it's not its not amazing by any means, um, and it can't, like, get speed control, so having other good speed control, having really solid pivots, and then mons that take its hits really um, really well, it's yeah, just awesome. So this team really, I think, um, builds around Primal Kyogre in a way that most of the other teams tend to have a few really good options, that, uh, and then built out from there. This team has Primal Koga as its direction, and it's committing to Primal Koga as its direction. Everything fits on this team uh, with Primal Koga very well. Also, there's a Smeagol and a Mew, which are basically the same Pokemon, but Mew is good. No, Smeagol is good. Mew is overrated. Okay. Um, that is you heard it here, folks. <laughs> Feel free to quote Draco on that. Sure, I'll stand on that. There's like six spikers on this team. <laughs> like Naga's got That's spikes, just... Mew's got spikes, Chestnut's got spikes, Smeagol's got spikes. It's pretty solid. Uh, and the speed test decent. It's really good. I really like this team. So Let's talk about team. Scott. A s a chap. S oh, s sharp. Chap. No, it, it's sharp because it's cheap, but sharp. No, no, it's a chap. The man just I, I really like the logo and the team name. I love Magirna, that mod is so fun to use. Yeah, I almost took Magirna instead of Arceus, uh, and looking at where I pee out the teams, I kind of wish I took Magirna instead of Arceus. This team is busted. Yeah, Magirna, Giratina O, Darkrai, Fictini, Chizam, Raikou, Mamoswine, Tentacruel, Gigalith, and then Mega Rodano is still okay. Oh, this team also has two regen mods, by the way. It does? This is like the fourth mon team with two regen mons. Oh, Eldegoss has regen. Yeah, Eldegoss and Ordner. Um, That's broken. Uh, I really like this team. It just hits really hard, really consistently. Um, and it's got mons that can win. Like, the fact that you hit really hard and really consistently, if they bring defensive checks, a lot of those defensive checks get put to like 90% by one of your mons when they threaten it out. And then McGinnon, 
abuses that 90% because not only does it get a speed boost, uh, sorry, does it get a attack boost if they die from it, but it also gets a attack boost if you try to sack them onto rocks in front of it, which is so difficult to try and um, build around. Well, it's sort of play around, not build around. Like, it's so difficult to try and play around the fact that um, Mon's dying to hazards or uh, weather in the case of Gigalith or. Um, like lifeful damage and stuff in front of Mikina, just you know, give it some attack boosts. Really solid. And then Giratina O and I forget what the other one is. Oh yeah, and Cheese That has ground resist is pretty solid. I don't know if Elder Dust is very good to do this. I would suggest it's probably not, but who you knows. I've never even heard of that one before. Uh I heard of it because it had like a really dumb ability where if it gets hit, it knocks the opposing speed, the opposing Pokemon's speed by like two stages. But then they get really crappy stats and a really crappy move pool. It's got like regen and rapid spin. I think I saw it each to lab and dude once. That's fine. Yeah, that cool. That uh, sounds cool. If it had knocked off, I think it'd be pretty good. I think it was U turn. Oh, guess who's next? Get, get, guess who's next? It's Taunt. It's Taunt. I actually couldn't find a logo, so I do. I could find the logo. If you re, you changed Tom's logo. No, it's because it's I had already drew, drawn it up. I told oh. you I had their logo before like you the said that. I like the one I drew better. The one I drew Alright, um, so basically Tom took all the Pokemon I wanted. Yeah, this team's broken. Except Spec. But they were very sure that I wanted Spec, so. Uh, Mero's team's really good, broke. so... So Groudon is really solid. Um, Rillaboom's got good synergy with Groudon, because Groudon, you know, sometimes you feel tempted to run Earthquake instead of P-Blades for accuracy, but with Rillaboom, you're not going to run Earthquake, so that means you run P-Blades, and that's a good thing. Yeah. Libero Cinderace is strong. Um, um, Heliolisk has got the solar power. Um, Prince broken. This is just Should've broken Watt. Should have gotten what, sorry? Well, Rotom Wash, so Galio is broken. Rotom Wash went the same round so Galio did. No, it, it went did. round three. But like <laughs> They got ground so Galio and the Rotom Wash wasn't around oh, when they got back to them. I didn't even see they have fucking he has Cinderace on his team. Yeah, they Cinderace. They have um, his team. they got Ru his Rillaboom team. and Cinderace Rillaboom. and then got the, the a different gen water starter. Even though they could have had all three of the Gen A water starters, but they're a coward. Uh, and that's why this team is in fourth you're instead coward, of third. Man. Exactly, you're a coward. You drafted to tell you how to put this team at number one. I mean, it would have at the least been third, because I thought this team was pretty close to the team at third. Uh, but I put it below, because they're, they're a coward. Oh, I remember the team at third. Let's talk about the team at third. Oh, also, Liv drafted this team, not Tom, but yeah. <laughs> Alright, team at third, Gil. Look, you have Marshadow. Your team's fucking ridiculous. So this is the... Oh, um, sorry. The Daniel Tournament no. TM. Representative in Retro Division of WPF, Colin Gil Bates. Um, yeah, hosted Marshall. by Gil Bates. I don't think there's a single team in this entire division that switches into this, this the first three rounds. No, I don't think there's a single like, like what 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 possibly does. I don't know. I feel, look. This team would have been like higher, but I don't know. It's it's so low. It's in third. Um, no, but like, it, it it's goes like it would be like number one or number two if your ghost switching wasn't scrappy. Yeah, uh, mostly specifically because like Marshadow itself is, is ghost weak, um, and a lot of the mons like G King is also ghost weak. So you have two major parts of the team that are ghost weak, which is just a bit of a concern. It's not like game breaking by any means. Yeah, you uh, don't even have any normal types, so like. You can spam a shadow ball when you're scratching. Poltergeist. Run no item Marshadow Shadow to wall Poltergeist. Fuck Marsh Shadow. It's a really good move. Um, but yeah, um, so you're in second place because um, I decided it should be in second, even though uh, even though uh, Draco was very uh, certain that they should be in like third or fourth. Uh, I was very assertive that they must be in second. But uh, Draco's pulled <laughs> Potown Polinas. <laughs> The team before me had Marshadow, but he also had like no ghost resist. Yeah. Whereas you have two ghost resists. Exactly. And one of them's even look, good. Look, look, I wanted Zekrom, but I had a shitty pick because I couldn't get Zekrom, so I picked Lunala. And I was had Lunala, and I was like, last time I played, Zamazenta almost beat me, so I picked Zamazenta. And then my pick worked. 
I picked Will back around and Coco was still there. So I was like, oh shit, I'm going to pick Coco. Then I held the gun to his head and made him drop Mega Mints. I almost picked Mega Mints. Thank God I didn't, because like I think the dude like after me wanted Mega. I mean wanted Coco, so I picked Mega for Coco. Not just the dude this. after you, also the dude after him and the dude two after him. Yeah, they all wanted Coco. Three people so said luckily, that they got sniped on Coco. Yeah, sorry, I couldn't let that happen. Anyways, I like this team. I feel like Lunala's broken. I feel like yeah. Zombies into broken. I think Mega Mints is broken. I feel like every team I've seen so far loses to Mega Mints. Like, you guys just all have shitty Mega Mints matchups. I'm gonna enjoy it. I'm gonna take advantage of your teams. You're, you're really sure like, Mega Mints? Do you think Mega Mints is the best switch into the team that has like two ice stacks? Mega Mints is the truth. Anyways, I don't have a, a grass type. I feel like that's one of the major issues with this team, but at the same I time. I guess you'll just have to rely on the Mega Mints as Mega a Mints. ground switch in. <laughs> Moltres. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like you have to prep for every mod on this team too. Besides like fucking Zoroark. I don't even know why I drafted that mod. You drafted Zoroark so the one time you could lead Lunala pretending it was Zoroark and um, set up. Exactly. And I have three point Wobby Fett so this team is busted. Pretty broken, pretty broken. So in first place pretty we weird. have the greatest person uh, in, in this draft league because uh, they let me tell them to do like a, a third of their team, uh, which is great. Uh, no one else gave me quite that much power, even though I did <laughs> give a lot of other people advice. Uh, therefore, the uh, team at number one squirty, because they got a Mewtwo, and then they listened to me and followed it up with, like, the Alga and Skarmory. <laughs> team's broken. This dude, look, this dude, his team's are always broken because he always has, like, a top five pick in the draft. Yeah. Um, that said, I think he was literally fifth and picked up Mewtwo, which is good, because Mewtwo's, like, the third best mod in the format. So... Yeah, like, yes, I'm not high on Club Fable in the Ubers, but you know, some people are. Uh, Dialga is like mid, but like, everything on this team is like good. The reason there I like Club Fable in Ubers is people use Club Fable in Ubers Ubers, let alone Ubers Draft. You know what happened to Club Fable? No, they yeah. got good spikers, they got good rockers. Um, like, I think this team works really well with like um, sub bulk up Dialga sets as well, which is like. Insane. Um, Gastro is pretty decent. It was originally going to be a small bit, I think, and then they got sniped. So they picked up Silvalli as a secondary small bit. Um, they also got Kek, and Kek's broken. I just feel like Mewtwo will win every single game. Dude, like, Mewtwo wins so many games. Dialga can, uh, is on this team. Dialga is really good at winning games. And they just got No. I just feel like with this team, like. And Duskrock is like, like one of the best revenges in the format because yeah. fucking everything's weak the rock. With the def with the defensive like Pokemon on this team, you you'd like switch into everything, right? And then like Mewtwo would just come in like turn like forty or something, just win. Yeah. Same with the all you, you get like, like rocks and spikes up, you get like one KO with Surf fetched because you killed it in on a turn when they were like trying to answer Mewtwo. And then Mewtwo wins because you just killed like half their team and set rocks and spikes up. Or we all gotta just break a hole in their fucking best defensive Pokemon team, and then you switch yeah. in Mewtwo like three turns later, and it just right, kills Also, the, re the other reason Clefable is good on this team is because it's um, a rocker fairy, which is nice, so, so that Dialga never feels like it has to run rocks because they got Clefable and Skarm and Dusk Rock, all of which are uh, decent rockers, and Kecleon, who's not a terrible rocker. Who the hell will ever have to run rocks on this damn team? Exactly, exactly. This is a really good Dialga team, a really good Mewtwo team, and like a really solid team, even outside that. Exactly, this team like, is busted. The, the reason this team is the best team is because it has two amazing Ubers, both of who have perfect teams for them and supporting them, and also the rest of the team is still good, even like if for some reason, say someone got like crit, so, say he, he had a switch in and his opponent like um, called the switch in and also crit him. He still has like five good mods on his team. <laughs> like, there's, there's no there's no bad mod on this team, which is insane. Like, Kecleon is the worst one on this team, and Kecleon's not bad, and Kecleon was cheap. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. this, this is a phenomenal team. Uh, Quaddy's really definitely won this draft. Uh, so, um, do you have any end. thoughts on the season overall? Um, I feel like all of you are going to lose to Mega Mints, but you know, that's a story for another day. You think the uh, you think that Quaddy's going to lose to Mega Mints? No, he doesn't count. He seems broken. It's yeah. not fair. <laughs> yeah, we, we, the reason we put Quaddy's in first is because he's the only one that beats Mega Mints. 
Exactly. Last time I played Cordy, he like. Bro, not only does he see his, his like three defensive checks in like Dialga, Skarmory, and Ronin Pete, all of which you have to run different moves for. Then he's also got Dust Rock. <laughs> exactly. I, I, Mega <laughs> Nest just doesn't beat this team. It's like, not like he didn't have a Mewtwo, anyways. <laughs> Are you just like the drop tomb with expert belt to root, and, and then you get slower than to root? That's very sad. I know, I know. Mega Man just doesn't prevail this game. I mean, it can, but it requires a lot more than it would in any other game. This is funny. Uh, yeah, but yeah. So um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys uh, enjoy the season. Uh, I'm probably gonna follow up with this with the draft breakdown, even though I kind of hate my team. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching, and thanks Draco for coming on. You're welcome. Right. Uh...